district is a San Francisco hotspot. Known for attracting the tech crowd, and Katerina Mirabelli has seen it all from behind the bar. When there was a whole boom of the Google.com, when a lot of employee cash out their shares, had a lot of kids coming here, retiring and celebrating. Cheers! Cheers. They will come here and just, you know, order to, from me the best champagne bottles and the best bottles and just trying to, like, honey for bees, just get all the girls around them. And for singles on the prowl for a tech millionaire, it takes more than just luck to strike gold. A lot of girls will ask me if you know any young successful gentleman that is single, please introduce it. I got more requests for phone number than for wine. And guys play the same game. There are definitely guys out there who've made it and, and know that's attractive and use that to meet women. Yulia Smirnova is a single woman who has her own strategy for finding a man. There is a perfect market and exchange of, you know, beauty, uh, um, you know, status and money. I mean, there is nothing, it's a free country. You can get whoever you want and what you want. Ultimately, people are still looking for love. People are looking for someone who feels, uh, who makes you feel special. Amy Anderson, the founder of Lynx, a high-end Silicon Valley dating service, tries to spark those connections. She also advises clients on who to avoid. If you go to any of the upscale hotels in the Silicon Valley on any given night, you can kind of spot a woman dressed a certain way, let's just say, maybe approaching the older guy, and if she asks him about his you know, financial portfolio or his other residences, he should run for the hills. But Rick, a Google exec and member of Lynx, isn't worried that his wallet is what is attracting women. I think gold digging is less of an issue in San Francisco as it would be in New York or LA. I think the, the people with money out here tend to be entrepreneurs and self-made tech executives to, for a certain extent. And, and they're pretty grounded individuals. As for the competition from rich Facebook employees, this bachelor doesn't bat an eye. Let's face it, like, you know, guys in tech are really good at math and science, but that doesn't mean that we know anything about chemistry. And so even if there are a bunch of new millionaires, I, I don't think that's going to, you know, radically change the dating pool. In San Francisco, I'm Kara Suboy, CNET.com for CBS News.